Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious, actually? Asteroid uh, 2004 BL86 that flew past the Earth in a near miss of the Earth also had a moon orbiting it. This is amazing, but um, according to the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, California Institute of Technology, the asteroid had a moon. There you see a picture released by NASA. That's the asteroid, and that is a moon that was following it. It's orbiting it. It's actually circling it. As the asteroid races through space, it has its own moon that is orbiting around it. And this asteroid and its moon nearly intersected with the Earth. It came within 700,000 miles of the Earth, or a little bit less than three distances from our moon. And that is a near miss. And that is a very close miss. And this is a big boy. This rock is a third of a mile wide. So, huge, huge. And it had at least a one, it has a moon with it. And the, only the Lord knows how many other meteors and rocks and debris that was also traveling with it. And it'll be back. It'll be back. And when it does come back, how close will it be the next time to the earth? I don't know. But we won't have another big asteroid near miss the earth for another 12 years. Or unless they discover another one and give you a three days heads up. That's happened also. We've even had asteroids near miss the earth and they tell us the day after. So NASA can only see 10% of the asteroids, the space uh, stuff that's taking place, literally folks, it's intensifying, it's increasing as the Earth has entered into a galactical belt. And we're going to talk about this asteroid. And did that asteroid with its moon near missing the Earth yesterday have anything to do with this unbelievable blizzard that has hit the east coast of the United States and currently dropping two to three feet of snow on seven or eight states with winds of 70 miles an hour. Extreme weather conditions taking place. Uh, it, it's, it's just unbelievable the things that are happening right now. And all of this may point to the relationship America has with Israel. Since this, form, this storm formed the same day that America said that the White House administration said they weren't going to meet with President or Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Is there any connection there? I mean, the same thing happened to George W. Bush when he said, he told Israel that they had to remove Jews from out of the West Bank, out of Jewish settlements. They must leave. The same day Katrina formed. Just saying. Are you saved? You see, something biblical is going on with the, with the signs of the second coming of Christ. Jesus said there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. The stress of nations with perplexity. The sea and the waves roaring. Men's hearts failing them for fear of things coming upon the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Then shall they see the sign of the Son of Man coming into power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, he said, Then lift up your head, look up, for your redemption is drawing nigh. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're running out of time.